Hey guys, welcome back to the White Hat Mastermind Show. This is episode number six, and today I'm gonna to show you how to add beautiful WordPress tabs and accordions to your site really easily. So thank you for watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the White Hat Mastermind Show, where we give you step-by-step -step training on today's best WordPress plugins and marketing tools to grow your business. business, business. And now, here's your host, Seth Riley. Seth Riley. Hi and welcome back for another great episode. Today I'm gonna to show you how to add beautiful tabs and accordion to your website using WP UI tabs and accordion plugin for WordPress. Now I've already made the demo site and the page for it. So I'm just gonna walk you through all the potential that you can have uh, with this really cool plugin. As you can see, we have really cool tabs right here. And then if you scroll down, it's pretty much the same style tabs, only without the content background here. So this plugin is just really versatile and it has just a lot of different themes you can choose from to really give your site that extra look that your customers are really gonna enjoy. So as you can see, we looked at the tabs and then here's an accordion option you can choose from. And then we also have a vertical tab set right here and you can choose that within uh, the short code settings. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. So, you know, what uh, tabs and accordions are really good for is if you're trying to display uh, a lot of content on one page and you want to give your visitors just really quick access to specific content that you feel they really want to check out. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and go to the WordPress dashboard. Okay, and the first thing you need to do is click on Add New Plugin. And then you want to search for the plugin. Just type in WPUI. As you can see, it's the first one that pops up. It says WPUI tabs, accordion, and slider. Uh, so you just need to install it. For me, this is already installed. Um, obviously, as you can see, I already have all my tabs in place and the accordions here. And guys, this is a really cool plugin. You know, if your theme doesn't support tabs and accordion, or if your theme has, you know, a style of tabs that you really don't like. Uh, the WPUI plugin will definitely give you a bunch of different templates to choose from to match your theme and I highly recommend this plugin. It seems to load really well on my site and there's another great way of checking to make sure that your plugins are actually performing well on your site and I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new tab and go to GT Metrics. and basically all you have to do here is enter the URL of your page that you want to check to see you know how optimized it is and this is just a good rule of thumb to do on any plugin really as a developer you want to make sure that you're constantly making sure that all the plugins on your site are optimized uh, they're coded well and they work well and they don't conflict with other plugins but I'm just going to give you a real basic overview of GT metrics and show you uh, why it's important now this obviously isn't uh, what the shows about it's not about optimization and we're going to get into more detail um, with this specific tool later down the line. But, um, you know, as you can see, I punched in my URL and the page speed grade is 93%, which is an A. And Google notices this and will also, um, you know, this, this could possibly affect your SEO if your site's bogged down and running really slow, just overloaded with a bunch of plugins. So you want to be selective with your plugins and also your theme when you, uh, you know, think about optimization and you're trying to get a fast loading site. Uh, there's just, just a ton of various um, information down here in data, and you can see the ones that are red. You can click on them, and it'll give you the resources to what you need to know to uh, figure out why your site's running slow, and then you can choose to optimize it from there. So this is just uh, a, a really cool feature, and I wanted to show you that the Accordion and Tabs plugin does load pretty fast. You know, obviously, if you're adding a ton of videos and images to your page, that can also affect your uh, page load speed big time, especially images. So, you know, there's other plugins out there that can help you to optimize your, your images as well to keep your site running fast. But today we're not going to really get into that. And down the line, we definitely will, though. So what I'm going to do is just reproduce this page for you and show you how fast we can uh, create accordion and tabs. So after you've installed the plugin, just go over to your pages. And for this example, I'm just going to use a service page. So I'm just going to create a new service page. And title it Service 
two. And right now I'm gonna make this full width, but you can actually set up a sidebar with the tabs and accordion plugin as well, and it'll work really well. Another thing to note is that it is responsive, so it's great for mobile devices. The tabs and accordion will scale down to the size of your phone uh, or your iPad or whatever you choose to view it on. All right, so here we are. And if you scroll down, this is the WordPress editor if you're not familiar with it. Okay, and as you can see, here's the UI tab right here. And this is where you're gonna uh, basically add your short codes to the page to uh, set up the tabs and accordions. And it's really intuitive and really easy to do. So we're just gonna click on this drop down right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a tab set. And I'm just gonna make up some bogus title names for this stuff. But you know, obviously if it's your page, you can choose to put whatever you want. And I'm gonna insert my content here. And as you can see, it's wrapped it with these short codes. A good rule of thumb is to always separate your content from your short codes. So you wanna make sure you drop your content down in between the short codes. And then you also wanna make sure you drop your sh short codes down to where they're aligned below the other bracket. As you can see, it just gives a really nice view of your short codes and it's easy to tell what's what. So this is basically, the title of our first tab and then as you can see it says WP tab content for this bracket and so what I did is I just wrapped it in this bracket and the UI plugin will automatically do that if you have your content available and it'll place the uh, content where it needs to go but even then you always want to make sure you drop your content down uh, you know to separate it from the short codes and you want to make sure that short code brackets are always separate from each other it's very important that you do that you don't want to have any conflicts and it's really easy to mess up these short codes, so you wanna keep uh, your short codes uh, as clean as possible. So we're just gonna go ahead and add a new tab. And then just go ahead and insert your content again. And you know, make sure you drop these down to where they're separate. It's very important that you do that. And if you're in a hurry, all you gotta do is just copy and paste this you don't have to go back into uh, the light box to set up this and then just drop it down the line and then just paste this this tab and content to the next line below. So now we have three tab sets set up. Now we need to wrap it. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on the drop down, then wrap tab set. For this example, we're just gonna use tabs and then you can choose your styles. Uh, this is CSS uh, three styles. I personally just work with these top theme templates right here. So I'm just gonna use the light theme template for this example. And then the mode, you can either choose it to be horizontal or vertical. We're just gonna go with horizontal. You can choose a fade effect or a slide effect. We'll do slide effect. And then just go ahead and insert it. And as you can see, it added the, the wrap right here. But on the end, it has the end bracket uh, for the wrap short code. So you just wanna copy that, delete it from the top, and then scroll down to the bottom, and then go ahead and paste it in. And we're just gonna go ahead and update this page and check it out. Okay, and as you can see, we've added the tab set here and you can just click through it. Obviously, uh, I have the same content so you won't see any changes, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some images here, maybe a couple headlines to really make it look good. So as you can see, we have the brackets separate from the content. And what I'm gonna do is just add an image to the article right here. And then you always wanna make sure that you on-link your image, break the link right here, if you don't want your image to link anywhere. A lot of the times I see on people's sites, they get a little careless and they're adding all these images and they're actually linked. Um, and what happens is when people will click on the images, it'll open up in a new browser and it'll show the image in a new browser, which you don't want people to leave your site and you definitely don't wanna confuse them by clicking uh, images that really aren't linked to anything specific. I'm gonna go ahead and break that link as well. And then you can always um, click on your image and once it highlights, click on that little button over there and then you can just scale it down however big you want it to be. And then make sure you break the link. So we're gonna go ahead and update this page now and come back over here and refresh. As you can see, it's added our different images 
uh, to the tabs menu and it looks really nice and like I said I'm going to show you some different themes you can use and some different ways of dropping in content you know as you can see over here as a designer this doesn't look super appealing so it's a good rule of thumb to always add a nice headline and maybe even a sub headline which is a little bit smaller and change the colors on it to really make it pop I'm going to make this a headline one and then this one I'm going to center it and give it a headline two change the color of it And I'm just going to copy and paste that down here because obviously, you know, this is demo content, so we're not really trying to optimize anything. I'm going to come back over here and refresh. And as you can see, we've added a headline and then a, an H2 tag headline, and it just makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, now that we have that one in place, we're going to go ahead and add a new one. So I'm just going to copy some content here and then duplicate it in the next tab set. So you want to make sure you drop down a line below uh, the other tab short code uh, to make sure that you don't cause any conflicts. Then we're going to hit the UI drop down and then add tab set. Go ahead and enter your content and your title. And then what I'm going to do is just duplicate this over three times. And as you can see, most short codes drop all the content and the short codes in this format, and it's all bunched together. It's really hard to read. So what I always like to do is drop down the brackets another line to separate them. So as you can see, this is the end of our other sh uh, short code, and this is the beginning of our new one. So it's kind of you know it's a lot easier to see what you're doing. Okay, now that we have those three tabs in place, what I'm going to do is just click right here below that other short code and put a space there, and that's where we're going to wrap our content. So just click on the drop down and wrap tab set. And then we're just going to go with the tabs, tabs option right here. Uh, choose your theme, whatever you really want, it's up to you. And then effect, I'm just going to do a fade effect. And then we're going to make this actually a vertical tab it looks really nice and like I said it enters the whole entire short code here so you need to to grab the end bracket delete it from there and bring it down to the bottom and paste it at the bottom and then go ahead and update the page so as you can see we've added a nice vertical tab set here which is really cool and you can add videos if you want uh, to your tabs as well and you know one thing I've noticed about WPUI plugin is that uh, it handles videos and for the most part handles the theme short codes really well I'm just gonna add a video to the tab set below to make it a little bit more appealing okay we've added our video but the problem with this is that the video is sitting above the content and we want the video to be on the left of the content and you know depending on what theme you're using I'm using striking multiflex which I highly recommend it's a premium uh, theme it's fifty five dollars but uh, you know if you wanna make sure that your video is on the left side of your content and if your theme has a column short code uh, you can set that up very easily I'm just gonna do that real fast so I'm just going to go to layout and put a two column layout and insert these short codes and what it does is it inserts all the different brackets in the same row so I need to separate them and drop them down below. I only want this first bracket to be above the video and then what I'm going to do is just paste the other three brackets here, um, grab the last bracket and paste it below the content and then I'm going to drop down these brackets so they're separated so as you can see right here 
we have one half bracket at the top above the video, then below the video, and then this is the, the one half last bracket. As you can see, it says last right there. A lot of short codes will say something similar to that to let you know that that is the end bracket, uh, which basically means the content will be displayed on the right side of your page. And then we're gonna go ahead and update that and scroll back over here and check out what we've added. So that's just really cool, guys. I mean, you can add videos, you can add you know, headlines, images, whatever you want to the WP UI plugin. It's an amazing plugin. I'm gonna show you how to add an accordion now. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of my uh, WordPress page and go ahead and free up another line here. And then just go ahead and click on Add Tab Set. Give it a title. And then go ahead and paste your content. Then go ahead and insert it. And like I said, you always want to drop down your short codes. It's imperative that you do that. You want uh, the lines to be separate, or the brackets to be separate. And you also want your page content to be separate from the short codes. It's really easy for conflicts to occur if all your short codes are bunched in with your content. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reproduce this real fast. Three times, we're just making a set of three tabs here. And in this case, it's accordion. So we did the same thing as we would with the tab set. Now, what I'm gonna do is just separate the, the tabs from the accordion right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the accordion now. So you wanna to go to wrap tab set. You can either choose accordion or tabs. We're gonna choose accordion for this example. And let's try the Android uh, theme style. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that, grab this end bracket right here, delete it, and then scroll down and paste it below the tab content. And I'm actually gonna add a video to this as well. And the same problem occurred. As you can see, the video is above uh, the content. We want it side by side. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my layout, um, two column layout short code. Then we're gonna update the page and go check it out and see what we have. All right, now we're back at the page. I'm just gonna scroll down and show, the, show you the accordion that we've made. And as you can see, you can just click on each accordion tab and it'll pull up the content. Looks really nice, it's, it, it loads pretty fast on your pages. This plugin is great, guys, if you don't know uh, how to design or develop your site. With just a few clicks, you can have a nice tab layout or accordion layout, however you prefer to use it. There's definitely some other options within uh, the WP UI plugin. It's, there's a spoiler, which you can actually hide sections of content and then you know reveal it when they click on it. Um, you, there's RSS feed and then here's the documentation below that. But what I'm gonna do is just go over here to the actual plugin settings and show you the back office real fast. Now there's a lot going on here. As you can see, we're at the WUI dashboard here. And you can choose to enable tabs, accordion, enable collapsibles to where your accordions are permanently collapsed until someone chooses to open them by clicking or hovering over it. Uh, there's some miscellaneous settings here that you really don't need to worry too much about. You know, if you're a developer, you can get involved with the, uh, the advanced options over here. You can actually name the tabs at the bottom of your accordion or tab set to where it says previous or next, however you want to do it. This plugin is highly customizable. You can also add your own custom style sheets if you're a developer, which is really cool. I personally don't need that because, you know, WPUI has some really cool templates to choose from already. But if your clients are really picky and they prefer specific colors, then you can choose to upload your own style sheet. Well, that's basically it for this plugin, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm just going to take you back over to the original one that I created and show you how cool it looks. 
So the WPUI plugin is just a great option if you're looking to put a lot of information on one page and give your visitors quick access to the content you really want them to see. And it doesn't even have to reload the page. It's all loaded on the same page so they don't have to click the tab and be redirected to another page to see the content. It's really convenient, it looks really nice, and it's really going to allow you to show as much information as possible on specific pages. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I uh, appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys check out my membership site. I'm going to take you from A to Z and show you how to set up your own online business in the niche that you prefer. And, you know, we have a lot of great things going, going on here at White Hat Mastermind. I hope you stay tuned for more episodes. Um, you know, you guys can learn to be a web designer just by watching my videos. And that's really something to think about. If you're looking to get into web design or WordPress development, then you should definitely be watching my videos because I just give you a ton of value that I've learned over the years for free. I hope, I hope you enjoy it and take care. Thanks for tuning in to the White Hat Mastermind Show. You can check us out at www.whitehatmastermind.com.